Today we're going to ride over to one of my favorite spots here outside of Milwaukee. Hopefully do a bike check, weather permitting. You can see the ground's a little dark and dirty, but uh, let's give it a shot. Whew. Oh yeah. It's a little nasty, huh? Nothing like a little Monday, muddy Saturday. Oh yeah. It's a lot better than I thought. It's a little soft snow, so it kind of breaks your uh, path in for you. It's starting to get a little sketchy now. Absolutely no traction. All right, so we're here. This little sketchy bridge. Don't know when this was built or why it's here, but it's kind of a fun little spot. Here we have my 2021 James Renegade S3. I had this up in about, oh, one summer or so. Bought it in November 2021. And probably got about 1,200, 1,500 miles on it or so. Uh, but anyways, let's get at it. It is a steel frame, some chromoly. I think that's what, 4340 or something along those lines. 5200, no idea. This bike is a steel frame, so it's a little bit on the heavier side, but honestly, I don't really care that much. I don't race. I just go for smiles for the miles. Have a carbon front fork as well, which I don't mind. Kind of keeps it a little snappy feeling, which is quite a bit fun, a little bit playful. Down here we have GRX 400 derailleur, along with an 1136 tooth set. And on the front we have some FSA Omega cranks with a 46 tooth and a 30 tooth down below. It's pretty much geared for exactly what I use it for. Honestly, mostly on road, but I certainly do like to take it off road some fun areas like this yeah look at that isn't that great got some hydraulic brakes on here again GRX 400 I love hydraulic brakes I'll never go to mechanical brakes no way for the wheels we got some WTV ST i23s they're tubeless setup however I'm only running the front one tubeless rear one has a tube yeah took it in some single track at night once and uh, found myself a rock. Bent the inside of the rims where it no longer holds a bead for the tubeless setup. Bike came stock with some WTV Riddlers. Those tires suck. I had like four punctures within like two weeks. So I got rid of those and got some Panracer Gravel King SKs. Don't have anything comment about those other than relatively no issues other than my own stupidity with the rear got ourselves a Richie handlebars now the handlebar tape actually just replaced that last week uh, much better it used to be kind of more of a cork however this here is definitely a little bit more of like a silicone texture certainly like that of course got the REI frame bag on top and the lizard skin saddlebag. Alright. Oh, I just missed my pedal. Alright. Let's take it nice and easy on the way back. Getting a little hot on the way in. Surprisingly enough, it's almost smoother in the winter than it is in the summer. Here's a question. Why was that bridge built there in the first place? Going across the river, understand that. But right into this, see there's a freaking cliff on that side. I don't know, man. Both my pay grade, that's for 